Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is the lowdown for the full moon of Thursday, March 1st. With every full moon, we have the sun and the moon opposite one another with the earth in the center. For this full moon, we have the sun in the middle of Aquarius, home of the angels, and the moon across the way in the middle of Leo, home of the thrones and Christ consciousness. When I dropped in with the star beings to find out what they wanted shared for this full moon, they built right on that gorgeous new moon that we had two weeks ago and encrusted in gold I shot up into the heavens where I shined alongside blue stars and then I dropped back down to earth from this I could begin to feel the deep rumblings of what we will what we want out of this year for ourselves our communities and our world from our will force place from the place of the assertive lion the lion is often misunderstood often portrayed as selfish attention grabbing the lion is actually the anointed one the king the sacrificer the one who carries upon his shoulders that which isn't his to carry except by choice. And here's the cool part. For this full moon, I'm suggesting that you are the anointed one. That's right. You too are the hero, the heroine, the king, the magician, the magic one. You. Yeah, you're the main character in this play. And as such, it's time under this full moon to begin acting like it. You are a being of great power and magnetism who comes on the scene imbued with magic from the angelic realms, from the angelic collective to fulfill a task that serves everyone. We've got some help to find out what that task is. The sun in Aquarius is very close to Neptune, just a few degrees away. With Neptune's presence so near to the sun now, It's time to open to increased intuition and insights and dreams, dreams that come from divinity to help you illuminate your path of how to use your talents, your gifts, your privilege in service now. Keep in mind, this important task may be very subtle, very small, seen through the lens of our culture where something is never good enough. If you need a role model, look to Aslan the Lion in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. He does just this. Who is meant to be a Christ consciousness character? P.S. by the way. Look it up. It's true. Now is the time to ask ourselves what natural strength do we have to help us shoulder the burdens that are not ours to shoulder but rest easier upon us than upon those to whom they are bound. If you need another role model, just look to your parents or yourself in your parenting. This is something you understand and endure all year round. Overcome your resistance and dig into your gold. Ask yourself, what have I got that no one else has that brought to bear upon the problems facing me and the group will serve now. Through this sacrifice, we will emerge better collectively. Yes, you might end up being misunderstood and people accuse you of wanting the attention, of wanting to be the hero, of wanting all the credit. Come on, wind. It may even require standing up to an authority figure. And who likes to do that? I fought the law and the law won. It can be scary and the outcome isn't predictable, but that just might be the sacrifice, the sacrifice of your ego, the sacrifice of being understood, the perception of others and your ego identity. But I encourage you to find inspiration in that dragon's hoard that you have dug into since the new moon of Aquarius mid-February. Bring that bright, shiny flame of being 
from the inside and let it shine. Be what you're meant to be, friends. Be the hero. Release the opinions of others. What other people think of you isn't actually your business. Thanks, John. Don't let the turkeys get you down. Shine bright. Because in the end, if we do not use our talents, if we do not spend our wealth, why do we have it anyway? If you want to be free, be free. If you want to be whatever, be whatever. I don't know the words to that song, but I am being great anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.